Hey there, this is Christopher, and somebody was asking about advertising your direct booking website for Airbnb. Or actually, the question I believe was, what kind of site? <laughs> Do we just need a one-page website? Like your listing on Airbnb technically is a one-page site on their website, and uh, they send people to you to... um because people are searching Google for Airbnb. Actually, 9 million people a month in the United States search the word Airbnb in Google, <laughs> which is funny. Why don't they just go there, right? So people are still using Google. So if you're gonna make a website yourself because you would like to book directly, directly there are um, platforms that you will never ever own such as Wix, that is their software. <laughs> and if you ever wanna move or go somewhere else, you lose your site and everything you put into it. Um, there's Squarespace, there's uh, you know GoDaddy's website builder, there's uh, the channel managers, um, hospital, host away, owner res, all these things, they will give you a free website builder. If you ever switch, you lose your site and everything you invested into it. So it's, it's kind of like renting. If you build a site for free, free, um, you, you know, you have to pay for their service. The website's a bonus and, and you can pay every month for 10 years and you will still not own that website. So that's why I believe in investing in something that you own that is yours. So anything that you do, for SEO or social media or whatever is benefiting you instead of benefiting them and their platform. But so back to the question of, of should it just be a single page, a landing page like, like Airbnb's listing that shows off all the pictures and says book now? Um, or do you want a full blown website? And that really depends on if you are advertising, if you're paying for traffic, if you're paying for those visitors, or if you wanna get found by Google. If you want to be found by Google, a one-page website is not gonna do it. Um, if you search for any random thing um, in Google, what shows up? Uh, you will get Wikipedia in the search results. For if you're searching for something random. You will get all these giant news sites. You will get LinkedIn, you will get Facebook, right? If you search for somebody by name, you could search for anybody by name. And if they had a, a website based on their name, I bet you above that in the number one position would be their profile on Facebook or LinkedIn. That's because these sites are huge. You look at Wikipedia, even the pages, they've got 10,000 words on a page about platypuses, right? So, so a single one-page website is, is not good. <laughs> you want, um, for Google, for getting traffic from Google organically for free, which is the goal, which is where SEO, search engine optimization, comes into play. So you at least want half a dozen pages. You want a lot of words. You don't want to copy Airbnb with just pictures, pictures, book now. You want to have a lot of content. You want to be blogging. You want to be sending social signals, um, signals from social media to the site. Google notices all that. So you need a full blown website if you're going after getting free traffic. If you are saying, I don't want free traffic, I, I'm going to pay and I'm going to pay forever for ads. A one page landing page website could do the job, but only in that situation. But if you're gonna run ads, it's, it's cheaper, right? Most people are not gonna book on the first visit. Most people are, are doing research, they're window shopping, they're looking around. You know, there are exceptions to this. If you are a, a towing company and you own a tow truck, and people look for you, they want you right now, <laughs> right? If you're an emergency plumber or you know dentist, um, people want you right now. But aside from that, if you're planning a vacation months in advance, people are doing research and um, they're not gonna book. So if you're advertising, expecting, if, if you get 1% to book, that's really 
really good. So how much is each click and how much is 100 clicks? You can reverse engineer to find out how much it's going to cost you to get somebody booked and what's the average stay and is it worth it? Um, but if you're going, if you've got a website that's a full page, uh, not a full page, if you've got a full blown website um, and you're advertising, Google will boost you in the search results because it's seeing traffic, right? So that's a bonus of advertising a regular site. You could make a landing page on a regular site um, that has cookies. So if you get to the book now page, you can drop a cookie on their computer and you can say, show my ad to this person again. And you kind of follow them around the internet, showing your ad, reminding them to book with you, or hopefully get them into your email list and say, thinking of uh, planning a vacation in my town, get into my email list. I'll, I'll send you a list of the best things to do. And then you can follow up with them, reminding them what, what to do in your town, what's awesome to see, all the, this great information, and saying, P.S., book with me. And that's, that's the proper way. It's, it's just not run ads. <laughs> it's not that simple. But that's, that's a way to do it. Any questions, there's a link down below. Um, I have a, a dozen different tips on how to market your Airbnb. And uh, reach out and let's connect.